Today we're reading Groundhog's Runaway Shadow. Groundhog Day. The only thing that could keep that could keep up with little Phil Groundhog was his shadow, no matter how fast he can run. Or how high he jumped, his shadow followed him everywhere. Whether he laughed or cried, his shadow was always right there beside him. Even when Phil felt small, his shadow could make him feel even bigger. Pretty hippos out walking my gorilla down my street. But, every, but everyone grows up, even groundhogs and their shadows. Grown-up groundhogs are expected to act a certain way, but Phil's shadow had other plans. Phil's idea of the perfect vacation was taking the bus to a local beach. Shadow dreamed of visiting faraway places. Phil loved scary movies. Shadow, not so much. Phil enjoyed eating dandelion, clovers, and tree bark. Shadow craved something spicy. Phil liked to be on time. Shadow liked to stop and smell the roses. At first, Phil found Shadow's behavior amusing and a little off-key. Phil's friends found it amazing and a little... gross. Arr. But soon it got annoying and then downright embarrassing. Hey, you! Phil had had enough. Why can't you be like other Shadows? I wish you would just go away. Shadow was crushed. He got angry and then he thought about it. Phil said he should go with, and he had always wanted to travel, so that night... And the next morning and a couple days later, and into the following week, that's exactly what he did. Back at home, Phil tried everything to find his shadow. Oh, shadow, where are you? He posted signs. Lost. Have you seen my shadow? If found, please call... I five 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 immediately. He used the newspaper. Groundhog seeks shadow. Then he saw shadow making news. Mysterious shadow seen at the Eiffel Tower. Without him, suddenly Phil's life seemed pretty dull. He longed to be exploring with his shadow. Halfway around the world, shadow realized something was missing. He had no one to share his adventures with. The thought of searching for shadows seemed scared Phil silly. He'd have to travel far and wide, but the next morning and a couple days later and into the following week, that's exactly what he did. He searched shadow and searched shadow and searched some more shadow. Finally, when he could search no longer, he had an idea. He began to play, and when he did, he heard someone gently accompanying him. The two friends played together, this time in perfect harmony, and the next morning and a couple days later and forever after, that's exactly what they did. Except sometimes on February 2nd. Shadow? Happy Groundhog Day!